It's getting cold out there. If it's snowing, you better be careful. You don't want any seasonal scrapes. Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's all I got for today. I suck, I know. Let's just look at seasonal scrapes from 2001. 17 episodes from seasons 1 through 4 with 3 music videos to boot. With a running time of 104 minutes. 104 minutes? Excuse me a minute. Okay, so after discounting the complete season releases, Seasonal Scrapes is the second longest Thomas and Friends release I own, only behind Biggest Party Video Ever. A long time ago, I praised Chase's Races and Runaways for having enough content on one video to last a child for nearly two hours. On the other hand, I went against Biggest Party Video Ever for its episodic organisation as well as being incredibly boring for the first half hour or so. This video is quite literally caught in between them. It's longer than Chase's, one of the best videos I own, but it's shorter than Biggest, one of the worst videos I own. So how does Seasonal Scrapes rank? Well, it all depends on my memories of the video. There's just one problem. I don't really have any memories of this video. Yeah, I don't remember ever watching this. I remember watching pieces of crap like Chad Valley Video and Children's Cartoon Favourites, but not a thing for this. I'm sure I did watch it a few times in the past 17 years, but I got nothing. Okay, we're going to have to break with video memories traditions. We're going to have to go in blind on this one. Right, 17 episodes, 3 music videos, 104 minutes. Beyond the VCI logo, we have Rusty to the Rescue, Wooly Bear, Bulgy, You Can't Win, Percy's Promise, Henry's Forest, Toby in the Flood, Stepney Gets Lost, The Trouble with Mud, Thomas Towns in the Snow, Snow, The Flying Kipper, A Scarf for Percy, Special Funnel, Thomas's Christmas Party, Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree, and Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure. Jesus. And as for the music videos, we have It's Great to Be an Engine, Percy's Seaside Holiday, and The Snow Song. Okay, so why is it called Seasonal Scrapes? Chases, Races and Runaways, I get. Most episodes featured either a chase, a race or a runaway. What does Seasonal Scrapes have to do with all this? In springtime, Rusty loves to visit a faraway place. In summer, the gang has cut the long grass on the lion side. Autumn had come to the island of Sodor. The fields were changing from yellow stubble to brown earth. One winter evening, Henry's driver said, We'll be out early tomorrow. We've got to take the Flying Kipper. Oh, so it's quite literally about the four seasons. That's original and slightly random. So that's one episode for spring, four episodes for summer, I'm guessing four, maybe four and a half episodes for autumn, and at least seven episodes for winter, because the series loves episodes involving winter. And I suppose Percy's Seaside Holiday could be summer related and the snow song can be for winter. It's great to be an engine, however, I don't really see what that's got to do with the four seasons. And Henry's Forest and Stepney Gets Lost don't really seem seasonal. Yeah, truth be told, I think the whole seasonal thing is a bit of a stretch. In most of the non-winter episodes, the season gets mentioned once and never again. Honestly, most of the episodes are more weather related than overall seasonal. Henry's Forest is that massive storm that destroys the forest. Toby and the Flood has a massive amount of rain, causing the river to rise and break the bridge. Stepney Gets Lost has the fog that causes Stepney to end up in the scrapyards. The Trouble with Mud has a lot of damp, dead leaves, certainly a lot closer to a season than the previous three. If it's not weather related, there's just a few episodes that take place during a holiday. In this case, Bulgy and You Can't Win. Nothing specific, it's just a special holiday, or there's a group of sightseers travelling on the narrow gauge railway. That about covers every episode on the release. This is more holiday and weather scrapes than seasonal scrapes. I mean, geez, even the winter episodes mostly involve weather-related accidents. Thomas gets stuck in the snow twice, snow diverts Henry into the path of a freight train, Peter Sam loses his funnel due to a low-hanging icicle, Percy gets covered in jam, well actually that last one was his fault, so disregard. The way I see it, the whole seasonal thing doesn't 100% work. It's mostly just weather-related, like wind and rain. If it's not weather, it's just a normal holiday episode, and if it's not that, it's just going to be an incredibly basic episode like Rusty to the Rescue where the season reference is tacked on at the beginning. And you know, 
despite all of that, I don't think this video is all that bad. It's certainly not as bad as Biggest Party Video or Chad Valley. My gripes are pretty minor and I still think kids can enjoy this. I think it's okay purely because I'm 25 years old and this is a video for kids. If VHS was still a thing, I could see kids enjoying this. Hell, they'd probably enjoy Biggest Party Video. They care less than I do. This is a great thing about kids. They are happy to enjoy Thompson Friends and the way I see it, that makes the whole thing a success. That's the great thing about preschool kids. They won't throw a shit fit over a little change. <laughs> oh, I just had to go there. No regrets in the slightest. But in all seriousness, I may go against Bugs Bunny's Easter Funnies or Bug Alert or Biggest Party video, but that's me as a 25 year old. I could see kids enjoying all these videos, every single one of them. It's a kid in the 90s, you have a choice to make. Watch TV, watching a video, playing a primitive game console, or doing this thing called playing outside. TV can only get you so far. Cartoon Network and Disney were still in their infancies. Dig It is only on at the weekends. God knows I ain't gonna remember BBC knowledge. If you're gonna play a video game, the only game you want to play is Sonic 2, but you keep dying to that first boss. Fortunately, Pokemon Stadium is on the way with the Nintendo 64, but that's probably a year or two away. As for playing outside, suppose it's pissing down with rain, you're left with only one option. With VHS, presentation and details mean nothing to a child. As long as the core content entertains you, the video becomes a winner. If it's a long video like Chase's Races and Runaways, or a Disney movie like Lion King, that's also a winner. If it's a long video and it entertains at the same time, you've hit the jackpot. The kids will be entertained for years to come. That's what my video collection is, a collection of mostly winners from my childhood. VHS may be a dead technology at this point, but I'm still proud to own these relics, and that includes seasonal scrapes. I may not remember much, but I'm still glad I own it. Honestly, I could just end it all here. I've praised my video collection and I've talked about how much videos meant to kids of the 1980s and 90s. That's what this whole series has been about, my childhood in VHS form. Plus if I end now, I end on a Thomas and Friends video where this all started. But you know, at the same time, I can't stop now. There's still one video that's been haunting me since the beginning. <laughs>